Hi everyone, we are back again with not so great news. Over the past couple of days, our team at Codant AI have been firefighting, sitting with our customers, trying to fix a major security vulnerability that occurred in OpenHSS. We'll break it down, tell you what the issue is, what was the impact, how you can detect it and even fix it. So let's start from the first segment. What is an issue? So this bug is the first major vulnerability that is seen in OpenHSS in nearly two decades. It allows an attacker to run a code remotely without authentication and on top of it, it gives them the root access so that they can take the control of the system and exploit it. The worst part is not the root access, but it affects the default configuration, which means it requires no action from the user. Thus, it makes it a very big risk. Now, let's come towards the impact of it. According to Qualys, who detected this issue the first, they reported that around 14 million potential vulnerable open SSH servers are present in the world today. Out of this, around 700,000 of them are actually exposed to internet. So they pose a very huge risk. Now, how you can detect it. So we also took our learnings, learnings of the community and jot down an entire step-by-step -step guide, which will help you detect this issue and even fix it. So let's go into the action. So this is the blog that we have written. It is called CVE 2024-6387. The actual name by which this vulnerability has been referred today. It is present in the blog section of Codant AI. The most important thing that you should be seeing today is the versions that are affected. If your OpenSHS version lies between 8.5p1 to 9.7p1, then it's a case where we need to worry about a bit. So what we should do, there's a detection script that we have added. You can copy this detection script from the bottom and add and check line by line with every individual IP addresses or if you know the CIDR ranges or custom or multiple domains that you have. You can run the script. This will tell you a report where we will scan for IP addresses, domain name, CIDR, where this vulnerability is present. It will check for SHS where the access is given without authentication and the other things which is listed here. Finally, you will get a report like this where we will tell you whether the server was vulnerable or not and what all things it has scanned. Finally, I would like to give the credit to Alexander who was the first one to find this detection script and he jotted it down. Kudos to you, man. We are helping all our clients and customers to get out of this. If you are affected, you can reach out to us. We'll be happy to help. We always help community. Thank you.